Hey everyone, welcome to the Wargaming Parrot. I'm David, and today we're going to be talking about DIY bird toys. Nice, cheap, and easy DIY bird toys you can make. I'm joined by my lovely assistant Sophie and my girlfriend. Hi, I'm Sophie from the Bird Ned Sophie YouTube channel. And um, we're going to go through some easy steps you can take to make these lovely toys. So these are the bits you're going to need to make your craft projects and there's a selection of bits and pieces here. We have some herbs, rosemary, thyme and mint. We have some paper string, bird safe. Then we've got your bird's favourite treats, things you wouldn't find normally in their diet that are really reinforcing and great to include inside of the toys. And also some paper cake cases, they do need to be paper, not foil lined or silicone, uh, just to make sure they're nice and safe. Then we have some cardboard and paper. It's important that your cardboard is bird safe. Right now, with packing in COVID, a lot of packing boxes are being treated, so do double check that your cardboard is actually bird safe and it's safe for you to use. And then we have just a pair of scissors and a pencil. So to get started, I'm going to start with a simple herb tree. Now, herbs are great for your birds. They can eat them normally. They make sort of great um, enrichment activities to eat them. And they're just very, very healthy for them. So I thought it'd be very cheap and easy just to make a simple herb tree that you can either have at the bottom of your cage, a big bundle of different herbs, or as a kind of hanging toy. So all you need to do is get your craft string, get a length of it, which I'm going to do here. And then simply bind up your herbs together to make a nice tasty bundle. So make sure you do it nice and tight. Sorry about this, I'm just making sure that this isn't going to come loose on me. So, as you can see, there's a nice bundle of herbs there. Your choice now is, you can either, I mean, it's as simple as it gets really, you can either leave this at the base of the cage, just standing or sitting, or you can hang it. I just wanted to add that another reason herbs are a great DIY bird toy and enrichment activity is they are so cheap. Not only are they so healthy, but they're incredibly cheap. As long as you buy fresh herbs and you wash them, they're just amazing. You can get them discounted at the supermarket. Even if they're not discounted, they're exceptionally cheap to buy. As you can see, Olive has a strong opinion on this and absolutely loves them. The next DIY toy is going to be another simple foraging activity. So what you're going to need are some scissors and also some plain white printer paper. I've got some A4 paper here. And what I've just done is cut four really long strips. I've just bundled them into twos. And this is basically all you're going to need for your foraging toy. So get two together to start off with and then the other two together. And then it's basically a simple folding technique. So you want to bring them together like an L shape and just hold them at the corner. And then for the strip that's below, you just fold it forwards like this. And then the strip that is then below, you... and then now this is the strip below, you fold it over again. And then it's a simple technique of just folding the strip that's below over and over until you've run out of paper. So now it's all folded up, you don't have to do anything fancy with the ends, some people do, but I normally just leave them. You unfold it to a very fancy concertina fold. Now the great thing about using two strips of paper is you've now got little pockets where you can fit in little seeds for your birds to chew on or anything else that your birds really like. So I've got my little pot here and I can just hide some little seeds in all of these little pockets and then you can either use this as a floor toy or you can punch a little hole in there, pop some string in and you can hang up in the bird's cage. 
So here's one little pocket. So I'm just going to pop a pumpkin seed in there because that is Chip and Fish's favourite. And then I can go all along the strip in these little pockets and just hide some goodies for them to enjoy. Hmm. So here's a toy full of loads of different goodies like millet, safflower seeds and banana chips. And the great thing with this is you can modify it to make it more difficult for your bird. For example, you can use more than just two strips to make more pockets throughout the toy and make it a little bit harder for them to get out. So let's see what they think. For our next cheap and easy DIY bird toy, all you'll need is some cardboard, your trusty pair of scissors, a pencil, string, and some seeds or favourite treats. Preferably it's larger seeds or hard seeds that you can poke through things and we'll tell, we'll, you'll find out about why that is in a moment. So for this, all you're going to do is you're going to cut out a simple shape. I'm going to go for something super, super simple just to show you, but you can go for something more complex if you want to. I'm just going to cut out a little triangle out of the cardboard. So, so there I have my triangle. So the next thing you're going to want to do is mark a couple of holes to poke through. So you need a hole at the top and then you, you don't need to mark the rest, you can just do them randomly. So you get your pair of scissors and punch a hole through the top. This is where you're going to put your string through to make this toy hang. Um, you also want to punch a few more holes through, so let's just do a couple more down here. Again, be very careful when you're doing this, you do not want to hurt yourself. I'm just going to literally put two through, because it's only an example. So now you've punched your holes through, get a couple of these seeds, we've got pumpkin seeds here, and you just push them through the holes, so you can guess where this is going now. You push them through the holes, and instead of just this being a piece of cardboard for them to chew at, they have some seeds and some foraging activity. So the next thing you want to do is get a bit of craft string. So I don't want to use too much of it because you don't want it to hang too much. You could also fold these or do all sorts of other things with them. And you just pop your string through the top so you can hang it. So then you just pop your craft string through the hole. And then you basically got a very, very simple hanging toy which you can use for your birds and we'll show you what they can give it a little bit later. Um, we've got the um, little triangle hanging here but the boys are being a bit shy around it. They've nibbled it but they refuse to, um, oh there's fish having a little investigator, they refuse to go over there when I'm filming so sadly I'm not going to be able to get a clip of that for you guys. So for your next toy you're just going to need some plain white printer paper the craft string again, we're using it in a lot of them, a pair of scissors and a, a pencil if you want to mark anything, but we won't be using it for this one. So for this one, it is an incredibly simple one. I've actually, there are some shapes I have already cut out, I just thought I'd do this to save some time. Again, just to show you, here's one shape that I, I haven't pierced through, you just literally just get your scissors carefully and pierce through it. Get your craft string, again, because we love our craft string in this. Just chop off the end of that, get in carefully. And then, as you can guess, you can do this with cardboard as well, by the way, if you want something that's going to last a bit longer for your bird. You just have to feed them the shapes through. So you just get your craft string and you start feeding it through the shapes. As you can guess, you're making a lovely little paper garland for your birdies. It's an incredibly simple DIY toy. It's almost too simple. And you just feed them all the shapes through. And it's just something easy they can chew on, especially if you've got a smaller bird. Again, if you've got a larger bird, you might want to do a cardboard. But it gives them something to chew on, and it's just something you can quickly put up in their cage and then take down when they're done with it. So here's the finished result. Again, it doesn't look too exciting here. You can use um, all sorts of other shapes and make it more interesting, but I just wanted to give you a quick example of what you can do with a very simple technique. So for the next toy, we are going to take a couple of paper cake cases. You can get nice colourful ones, as long as they are paper. You're going to pop them together and you are going to pierce a hole through the bottom. Again, being super careful and using your scissors, of course. And then once you've got a nice hole in the bottom, you're going to use some of the string again. And you're just going to thread that through very carefully. 
and tie a nice tight knot just at the base of these cake cases to keep it in place. And then you've got a fantastic little foraging toy that you can hang up in the cage. So what you actually do, especially if you double up the cake cases, is you can hide some tasty snacks in between the layers. So some pumpkin seeds and some millet, some corn, some safflower seeds. And of course you can make it easy if your birds aren't quite sure about the toy to pop some in the top as well so they can see it nice and easily. And then all you'll do is tie a nice bird safe knot at the top when you pop this in your bird's cage. So for this next one, all you're going to need is your trusty scissors, your bird's favourite treats and some plain white printer paper. This is an incredibly easy one to do. All you do is you get some of your bird's favourite treats and you pop them in the centre of the paper. I'm just going to put a few examples here. Just getting some millet because the boys absolutely love millet and some pumpkin seed. Fold it over gently so you're making a lot of parcel and then you just wrap the ends like so. As treats go, they don't get much easier than this. Um, you can put a lot more than this, it's made a kind of sweetie shape. If your birds are a bit nervous or they don't know what they're doing, you can just poke some holes in there and have the seed sticking out. So they sort of like, oh okay, there's seed in there. And it makes it a super easy, fun foraging toy for your birds to give a go. We also wanted to talk about our DIY foraging tray that we've created. So what we did was we got a sort of plastic platter like you can get in discount stores. And it's really nice and shallow so the birds can get in there nice and easy. What we also did is we filled the tray with Carefresh. This is the Confetti Carefresh. It is a byproduct of the paper industry and it's really safe for birds to forage around in. You could also use shredded printer paper. Um, anything that's considered bird safe, we've also got Easy Bed, which we use as a substrate, you could use that as well. Just something that they can rummage around in to look for snacks, and of course I did mention snacks. So we put, again, as with everything, some of their favourite snacks in. It's normally going to be things like millet that we can really crumble up to make this quite difficult, but at the same time really engaging and enriching so it keeps them busy for a long time. The other great thing about this is you can use old toys that are a bit broken, or you know bits and pieces that they may not play with normally for example we had a toy that came apart it had these lovely wooden shapes these woods are slightly too hard for the birds that we have however when these woods are in this tray it's quite funny when um, chip gets involved because he just throws them across the room looking for the snacks and it's just another way of repurposing toys that may have otherwise gone in the bin so so foraging trays are a great way of using up bits and pieces that are safe for your birds around the house and just making it a really fun and engaging experience. There's sort of no limits as long as it's bird safe to what you can put in here and they can have so much fun with it. Also, before you make any of these toys, I want to give a quick warning. I already mentioned cardboard boxes that you shouldn't use any packing boxes because they might be treated with stuff. All of these materials we've used today are bird safe. However, if you notice your bird is ingesting cardboard or paper, that's not an ideal thing, so you should take the toys away. If, similarly, if it's chewing a rope and it's ingesting that, that's bad as well. If they're just chewing them, shredding them, that's absolutely fine. That's exactly the purpose of these toys. But just be aware and be sensible. Similarly, if you use toilet roll tubes, if you're in America, that probably wouldn't be the best idea. If you're in the UK, like here, there's no problem with it because there's no plastic coating on it. Basically, the way, rule of thumb to tell is if it's shiny, the toilet paper on the surface, you shouldn't use it. If it's cardboard, it's fine.
I hope you guys found that video useful. If you have any questions or DIY tips of your own, please feel free to leave them in the comments. But in the meantime, from me, David, and... Me, Sophie. Take care and have a great day.